Just to let you guys know, these graphs are like golf scores. The lower, the better. I'm at Cave Tools today. We're going to do a battle of the brushes against the Flex, Hilti, and Milwaukee brushless reciprocating saws. First, let's weigh the tools. The Flex weighs 7 pounds and 6.0 ounces. The Hilti weighs 6 pounds and 15.5 ounces. And the Milwaukee weighs 8 pounds and 13.3 ounces. As you guys can see from the chart, Milwaukee weighs the most and Hilti weighs the least. We are using Milwaukee blades, all brand new blades. The 8 amp hour flex battery is full. The Hilti 8 amp hour battery is full. Milwaukee 8 amp hour high output battery is full as well. First, we're going to do three cuts. We're going to see now how well these do. We are going to time the first cut each. As you guys can see, that this is a very easy task for these saws. 3.47 seconds. All right, the Flex as a kit is $249. The model number is the FX2271. It does have an orbital feature, 3,000 strokes per minute, and the stroke length is one and a quarter. Single LED light in the front does have a metal rafter hook. Locking mechanism. Let's see how this Hilti does. Yeah, well, this is a very easy task, you guys. It is. 4.60 seconds. Now the Hilti has a single LED on the front. It has a plastic rafter hook. The specs is on the bottom of the base. The Hilti model number is SR6822. It's one and a quarter inch stroke length and 2,600 strokes per minute. Hilti is $269 tool only. As you can see, a two by four is a very easy task for all these reciprocating saws. And all these reciprocating saws are powerful. And the final time for the Milwaukee is... 3.94 seconds. It does have a single LED light in the front. The model number for this is 2722-20. One and a quarter inch stroke length and 3,000 strokes per minute. It does have orbital feature. And it also has a speed selector from 1 to 5. Going back to the very first cut, Milwaukee and Hilti tied at 1.43 seconds. And Flex came in first with 1.11 seconds. For the 2x4-3 cut, Flex got in first with 3.47 seconds. Followed by Milwaukee, then Hilti. All right, so let's cut into a one by six and see how well these do. We're, we're going to do five cuts. There's some knots in this wood, and so it's a little tough on the tools, which is exactly what, what we want. We want a tough test. Eleven point two seven seconds. It is time for the Hilti. Nice smooth cuts, though. It really is nice smooth cuts. And the final cut. 12.04 seconds for the Hilti. All right, let's do the Milwaukee. We are not using orbital feature on these, you guys, at, at the moment. Orbital feature will be presented to you when it's turned on. And the final one for the Milwaukee is 9.84 seconds. Milwaukee got first place with 9.84 seconds, then Flex, then the Hilti. Flex got 11.7 seconds, and Hilti got 12.04 seconds. Let's switch over to a 4x6 and see how well Flex does. That is the first cut. It's much. It's a much, much tougher wood to go through. It really is. It is really, that motor, the motor really was working in this test. 11.51 seconds. We're only doing two cuts. It is Hilti's turn next. Hilti seems to struggle a little bit. Final cut, and the number for the Hilti is 13.93 seconds. It is time for Milwaukee Super Salsa. That high output battery does help. It does. And the final number, uh, no, and the number for Milwaukee is 14.45 seconds. All right, so Flex got first with 11.51 seconds. Next, it's Hilti, then Milwaukee. They are following behind. We are using orbital feature on this test. Let's see which one is best. Now, Hilti does not have an orbital feature, so Hilti is not in this specific test. 5.35 seconds for the Flex. As 
As you can see, Hill 2 is not in this test, but Flex got 5.35 seconds and Milwaukee got 6.95 seconds. And when it comes to the orbital feature, this got brought to my attention. I did not like the way that the Milwaukee cuts this. I decided to do a straight cut test. Let's see which reciprocating saw could do a straight cut the best. I am trying my best to do a straight cut, but we're we going to use this uh, laminate flooring to do so. There's five or six pieces there. And let's see which one does the best. We're going to do two cuts each. We're going to time one and not time the other. As you can see, the flex is cutting pretty straight. And the final number for the flex is 7.40 seconds. Let's do the Hilti. The flex and Hilti did cut this very straight. We're going to time this one. eight point nine four seconds for this milwaukee we are going to try orbital feature and orbital feature off let's do the orbital feature first let's see how well this actually does a straight cut i'm trying my best to keep this aligned because that's what the, this test is actually for and i am not happy with that cut that cut is completely on an angle Seven point five six seconds. Flex got first with seven point four zero seconds, followed by Milwaukee, then Hilti with eight point nine four seconds. This cut is absolutely ridiculous, so I want to try it one more time without orbital feature. So the arrow is facing towards me. That means the orbital feature is turned off. Let's see if I can do a completely straight cut. I am trying my best to keep this pin saw cutting straight. I wanted to. Yeah. All right, so let's do the flex with orbital feature off. Let's see if we can do a straight cut with this. These tools are powerful. Like these tools have no issue at all with these tasks though. Those motors are powerful. As you can see, that is a much straighter cut much straighter cut and as you can see this is the hilti's cut the the hilti is actually the straightest cut so i want to do actual demo work so this is actually the old workbench i need to cut up into uh, a couple of pieces my well, i said might as well time this and seeing how well these do 19.96 seconds the flex got hilti is next and so far hilti and flex got this no problem no problem. Let's do one more piece with the Milwaukee. All three of these reciprocating saws did this task very easily. Like they did not hesitate whatsoever. These three reciprocating saws are for demo work. The demo test with one cut, Milwaukee got first with 17.39, followed by Flex, then Hilti. All right, let's do some metal with some PVC pipe inside. Now, just so you guys know, I will be completely modifying this test in the future. I want this test to be a complete torture test. And the flex got 9.35 seconds. The temperature for the flex was 109 degrees. Battery is at two bars. All right, so let's do the Hilti. As you can see, it's a, I think this is a good torture test. I want to make this even harder. And the Hilti's final number is... 11.45 seconds and the final temperature is 100 degrees not bad they actually stayed pretty cool for what we did the, the final battery is three bars time for the milwaukee well it, all of them are plowing through that like nothing which is good and the final number for the milwaukee is 10.65 seconds and the final temperature is 102 degrees as you guys can see, all three of these reciprocating saws are actually very powerful tools. Now, I trust in all of them. So as you can see of the real test results, all tools win and all tools lose at certain tasks. For which one of these would I recommend? I'd actually recommend the lightest one, which is Hilti. The orbital feature with both the Flex and Milwaukee has, the uh, Hilti does not. The orbital feature is sort of... It, 
it's not useless, but I wouldn't, there's, there's really no reason to use the orbital feature. You shouldn't use the orbital feature on metal because that'll just completely tear up your, your saw blade. So when it comes to these, I actually recommend the Hilti. Uh, they're all expensive. You know, like these are not cheap. All three of these are expensive. I didn't talk about every feature of this tool because I have a lot of videos of these tools already. This is the first time doing like a three-way battle and it was fun. And just so you guys know, all these videos from now on are gonna be a minimum of three tools. It's more fun to do three tools, the test results are more dramatic, and it is gonna be good. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.